Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to export a character that I made in Fuse and export it to Mixamo and download some animations and then put it back to, um, put it back into Unreal Engine. So I just have this character that I've created in Fuse and it's just, it's just a simple character if you're wondering you should go to assemble and then you create a character and then you get the clothing to choose the clothing and stuff and so um so now that i'm done you should click send the mixmo and then i'm just gonna name it uh yeah let's just name it um just name it bob bob okay save and then it's going to start exporting. So, yeah, I'll be back with you when it's finished and in Mixamo. Okay, so once it once it's finished doing that like and if you're wanting other options and stuff, you can choose other options, but um so once it's done, you'll just uh once it's finished and you can just mix them out completely free um you just need a adobe account okay so now that it's in here it's good and you just go down here and like you can go in here and like facial blend shapes and scan like change the skeleton and stuff but Ever settings or anything I've already downloaded it and stuff I've already done this so you just want to go with animate and you just want to right, let's just go for idle um so uh, where's a good idle this one may be good all right yeah so this one's good um or I think I have this one in my that I've downloaded I think I downloaded this one so once you're done with that something like this and then if you're wondering like oh well i can't see it that well just go over here and do it in place and i'll walk in place and then just download like i said without skin and fbx that's what unreal engine takes and once you're done with that i'll be right with you once i'm in unreal engine okay so once you're in unreal engine It's going to have a bunch of stuff, but, so I have my file on my second screen, so it's not going to show up for you guys, but just go to wherever you put your stuff, and then, um, here, where, where's my stuff? Okay, so... Once you've found your file type and stuff, you just want to go to it and just go. Like that, and it'll import. And then once you're going to animations and stuff, so it's going to take a minute. Okay, so that finished importing. And it's going to be compiling shaders for a little while, but I don't need the new plugin. That's just a plugin that I bought. Um, with the materials and stuff, I'll get to that in a minute, but for, you just want to go down here and just probably just do a new folder, and then, and then a sh
there we go okay and then for it's not going to let you import it you'll see and that's because you need a skeleton so you just want to choose your skeleton of the character and then you just want to do import all and that way you can um pull it up in your in your um you can pull it up in animation blueprints and stuff like that so you just want to go to your char and then let's just create a new one okay and then so we just want to do shift select and just drag that into materials and move and then as soon as that's done those into your textures folder and then move this just helps to like, keep it organized it's not required it's just there's a lot of textures and stuff for me so i just kind of keep it organized like that it makes it nice once we're going to do what i'm going to show you in a minute and it's pretty fast after your first one the first one is probably going to be pretty slow for me it was like three minutes just pretty long it all depends on your computer and stuff too and like what it's going through if it's going through a solid stage is saving it also has to do with that it's also running compiling the shaders and stuff too see they're not quite loaded in so once that's done we're going to go into the materials folder it's still going to be doing so i'm not going to go into the materials folder yet but um once it's done it's going to go into the materials folder we're going to go into the materials folder and then we're going to last video too but this video is kind of dedicated to it so so you'll see that if you pull this out the face is kind of uh all messed up like you can it's kind of like translucent and you can see through it so how you fix this is you just want to get out of that and then go into your materials folder and then you want to open up all of these and i'm like almost 100 percent sure that i did this in the last video but Okay, so now that we're in here, you just want to go from translucent to opaque. And I'll be right, I'll be back with you once it finishes doing its loading stuff, because the first one will take a while. So yeah, be right back. Okay, so now that it's finished loading, we're just going to go to the other one and just go translucent to opaque or something. I don't know how sure how to pronounce it. Opaque or something. I just call it opaque. Um, you, if I mispronounce it, please don't be offended. Um, so. minutes. But, um, yeah, so. So we're just going to go ahead and do that with all of them. And when it decides to finish. Um, okay, so that one's finished. And we're just going to exit out of them after we do apply. You can do save, but basically apply saves it, so it's fine. Um, Materials like that's just like base materials and stuff like that. Um, so now we're just gonna go here, hair mat, and then opaque, apply. So we got two more after this. So if you wanted to see the material an actual person, you would just You could change the color and stuff of it. So, yeah. I know this is apply. But take a minute to finish up. Now, this isn't going to be a long one. It should just be like 10 minutes-ish. 
um, it's not going to be like a long episode, so it shouldn't take too long, but we just got one more after this. Okay, so top mat now. Unreal. The Unreal built that as they came in. So, um, that's what when you download F FPX, though, that kind of does that. So, now that we're done with that, that's going to make it to where now if we go into our char and then we bring this out, it's going to compile, it's going to be compiling the shaders, but you see how it's kind of fixed now. Now, the eyebrows are still broken, and I'm not 100% sure. the from fuse cc so that's going to end it for the episode today um thank you for watching if you made it to this point um please make sure to like and subscribe and support the channel so yeah um see ya bye oh and one more thing make sure to comment down below if you have any ideas or mistakes that i made or if you know how to um, fix the eyebrows. So yeah, see ya, bye.